53 Inland Valley Daily Bulletin Inland Valley Daily Bulletin Caliph Joe Blackstock Column 2015 年7月21日 Joe Blackstock Source Inland Valley Daily Bulletin Caliph July 21 About 1,000 spectators crowded Tree City Airport in San Bernardino on 1928 to be dazzled by aircraft stunts and daring acts of varying entertainment. In fact, the only things actually missing from the air show was the guy who put it on and the money to collect it from those Yetman admissions, though met by a horrific parachute malfunction that nearly killed one of the participants, the Orange Belt Dermot of Arct, Subsang and Subsay. 1928 was pretty much a success, at least for spectators, but after the last plane had landed and the crowd headed for home, all the flares, workers and airport personnel assembled to collect their wages. Promoter Frank D. Naylor had posted the sign that everyone should meet at the airport office at say p.m. More than a people showed up. From the operator of the airport to famed Flair L. Wilson and Leland S. Miles, by mm, P.M. Though, there was still no nailer, and the prospects for payday were looking a bit grim. Wilson told the group that he had driven nailer to his hotel room a few hours earlier to pick up some papers, but there was nothing he saw to indicate anything was amiss, but it was apparent that nailer had skipped town. Meanwhile, D.V. Staley, who managed concessions during the show, became the perfect scapegoat for the disappearance. When he showed up at the office without nailing or any money, he was pounced upon by some angry people. The group, bringing Staley along, moved to the sheriff's office where a complaint was filed and a warrant for Naylor's arrest was approved by Judge George W. Holbrook, reported the San Bernardino Daily Sun or not. Sub- Sheriff Walter A. Shea sent a description of Naylor throughout Southern California in hopes of capturing him. Rumors spread that he had escaped by taking an airplane out of town or hard up in the hotel before getting away in the car, but no trace of Naylor was ever found, perhaps to placate those who lost money due them. Deputies arrested Staley and two other employees. Though only Staley was actually charged with grand theft and accused of being Naylor's co-conspirator, the, the participants in the air show were due about May Yun Yitin, ranging from the airport itself, out about May Yun Yitin, Ta Wilson, out May Yun Yitin Yi Ba, Ta Kat, Donald Winans, seeking May Yun Sam Bak Ba Sab Yi for Sam Sab Ya members of the National Guard hired to work at the air show, but Staley, of Los Angeles was cooperative and appeared forthright in saying he knew nothing of Naylor's disappearance nor played a role in the theft. Three times in the next seven months, his trial was scheduled only to be delayed in the faint hope Naylor was soon to be brought to justice. Finally, Staley was freed, but only after a baffling legal foul-up. His preliminary hearing finally began April yet, yet in but in the midst of testimony, Judge Holbrook was informed by the clerk that paperwork dated March he showed that the case had been dismissed, and while neither the judge nor the district attorney's office could remember approving such a decision, Staley was let go, and no one seemed to have any interest in refiling the case, and while Naylor was the infamous star in this little drama, their show provided almost deadly for one of the performers, on the first day. Louis W. Bax, a year-old director of Wolfram Upland, was nearly killed when his parachute malfunctioned, that the plan was for Babs to lie on the top wing of a plane flown by Fred Crooks, slide off into the air at the top of a loop at about 18 feet and touch down with his parachute in front of the crowd, but just as Babs opened his parachute, several of its cords snapped, and he plunged to what appeared to be certain death. He struggled for a moment before pulling an emergency chute that managed to open only about a certain fit above the runway. It only slightly cushioned his landing, reported the San Bernardino Daily Sun of Nacht. Subsay, Babs was rushed to the county hospital with an apparent broken back and an early prognosis that he wouldn't survive. Days later, his condition improved, 
and word eventually came that he was out of danger, though seriously injured. Two other participants in that getting go back is up but air show would, in the future, suffer fatal accidents, both at the annual national air races held in Cleveland, Ohio. Wilson, also a stunt pilot for the motion picture industry, crashed and killed during the races of Yetin Gobak Samsapgi. Miles, who grew up and learned to fly in San Bernardino, gained a reputation for one of the top race flyers in the nation, only to die in a crash in Cleveland in Yetin Gobak Samsapta. Copyright, C. Yetin Ling Yasapm The Inland Valley Daily Bulletin, Ontario, Calif. Visit the Inland Valley Daily Bulletin, Ontario, Calif, at www.dailybulletin come distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.